Hello everyone, welcome to Grade 12, Physics AP, Mastering Kinematics in Minutes. In this video, I'm going to go over a specific kinematics problem, which is um, free fall problem. So, what are these free fall problems exactly? So, in, in these free fall problems, the objects only accelerate vertically down. Um, and the vertical acceleration is due to gravity, which you already know is 9.81. Or, in my problems, I would assume or round it to the nearest whole number, which is 10 meters per second square. The trick to these problems is that you need to figure out which direction is positive and which one is negative. Um, you don't need uh, to be uh, a specific one, you just need to be sticking to one and uh, be consistent with it. So. Um, you could follow me uh, where in the rest of these problems I would use up as positive and down as negative but you can use the opposite uh, I'm just using these for uh, uh, dis uh, displaying how these problems are solved so let's uh, start off with um, an example problem in this uh, scenario, you are standing at the edge of a 130 meter building and you throw a coin at 5 meter per second upward. How long does it take for the coin to reach the ground? So here is the solution to this problem. Well, you know that you threw the coin upwards um, at the initial velocity of 5 meters per second so v0 would equal to 5 meters per second because the direction is up so it's positive yeah. now um, you got the acceleration which is uh, due to earth right uh, due to the earth's gravity so and it's going down so it's minus 10 meters per second square and then you would know that uh, the building is a hundred and thirty meters but because that uh, our question is uh, when does it reach the ground and you know that the distances should be displaying downwards as such your delta x would be in negative so it's minus 130 meters so what we don't have is um, the final velocity which we don't care because we already have three variables and we only need to solve for the answer which is time in this case how long does it take so if we remember what uh, what uh, the three formulas are, um, which is two videos prior, um, you would uh, see that one formula can be used in this situation, which is delta x equals to v0t plus half a t squared. So when we substitute everything in there, we would see uh, minus 130 equals to 5 times t minus 5 times t squared or negative 26 equals to t minus t squared so if we switch to um, a uh, binomial equation you don't know that it's t uh, t squared minus t minus 26 equals to 0 so how do we solve this well if you remember algebra this was going to be pretty easy because yeah, you would know that you could use uh, the, the equation to find the roots for a binomial equation, which is minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a. So if you plug it in, you would have minus 1 plus or minus root 1 squared 
minus 4 times minus 1 times 26 over 2. Now, uh, you would probably have a negative number and a positive number. And you would know that the negative number wouldn't work. So the answer would be the positive number, or 4.12 seconds. And uh, thank you for um, listening to our video. Um, this concludes uh, the lecture. If you are interested in more studying materials, um, please download our physics app and other AP uh, course study apps. Um, this can be found uh, in the links in our um, video description through YouTube. Uh, also, um, if you want to uh, keep up to date with our latest um, videos for studying purposes, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, please share our videos uh, via Twitter and Facebook.